as part of this video, we are going to show you how to access and install a printer potty waste ink kit on a G2500. And this will work for a whole bunch of other G series printers. Uh, we'll try and confirm the list with this video. The G series, the Mega Tank series, appear to be designed completely differently from any other Canon model whereby you actually have an easily accessible waste ink tube which is just manna from heaven. I wish Canon had been doing this for a long time. The first thing you need to make sure is your unit is powered down and that you have disconnected power. Like so. Now we need to remove these two screws. These two screws here and here. I recommend you use the Prince Potty tank to store your screws so you don't lose them while you're doing this. So, two screws into there. Now you just remove the panel. As you can see, there's these little lugs that fit in to these little slots along the top. So you'll need that for when you put it all back together again. So put this down somewhere out of the way. Now, as you can see, just here, we have a load of waste pads that you're gonna to need to take out. And I'm gonna use this little lot here to pull them out. All right, now these are pretty soaked as you can see. These are not going to be going back in. You don't need them to go back in. Right. So that should then give you access to this bit of tubing here. Now all this thing is doing is distributing these pads here. Okay, so that last pad doesn't want to come without being properly disassembled by the looks of it. Oh, actually, to light. Yeah, it does. Now, you could disassemble the printer enough to remove these pads and replace them, but honestly, this is gonna be easier. So, the idea is you want to remove this piece of tubing here. Now, as you can see, now that I've taken all of those bits of pad out this is now completely free and easy to access your tube part should come with a straight through connector like this which is equal size bulb on each side if by some chance your kit comes with uh, something more like this where one of the barbs is slightly thicker than the other. All you need to do is put the wider part into your extension tube because it can actually handle a wider bit. But provided you've got the correct kit, you should have one of these, which is the equal one, okay? Now we have to take this off to start with because we need to be able to feed our tube into the printer by drilling a hole, okay? So I've already taken this off so now we're going to sort out the hole. So we're going to drill our hole. Let's see, best place for this would be uh, probably just to the side of the barcode. So I'm going to drill our access hole just here. There's a little vein in the back of this tab, so just to the right of that tab is where I'm going to drill. As you're drilling through, you drill through the outer layer, but also through the internal layer as well, like so. Right, so you have two holes, one on the outside and one on the inside here. So you thread that through both holes, like so. Get hold of the extension, and now you plug 
both ends of your bulb connector in, one to your external tube and one to your internal tube. Then gently thread it so that that will go there. Make sure this bend here is not too fierce. On balance, I'd actually say you probably want to drill your hole a little bit further over towards that barb there. Um, sorry, a bit further over towards the barcode because that is actually stretching the waste tube just a tiny bit more than I'd be happy with. But uh, yeah, so I'm not going to pull it too tight. Okay, so do that. Got a nice even curve in it. Now that everything is sorted, just need to put your panel back on. The way to do that, like I said before, you line up you line up these tabs with the corresponding pegs. So do that. Slide them over the top like so. Grab your screws. And put the screws on like so. And you should now find that this is all hooked up properly. Last thing to do is to connect your printer potty waste kit. You do that by pushing down on the connector and threading onto the valve, which will open as soon as you put it in. Make sure you've unclamped. So if it's like this, you need to unclamp it because it's not gonna allow any waste ink to flow. Unclamp it, make sure there's no crimp in the tube and position your waste tank on the same level as the printer somewhere helpful, be it there or around on the other side of the printer. It's up to you. Just make sure the printer isn't sitting on the tubing itself. So that's it. That is a printer potty installed on a Canon G2500. Now, for the next bit. Okay, you have a Canon G2000 series. It doesn't detect the exact printer model, uh, which is a 2500 in this case. Obviously read through all the instructions, particularly the stuff in red as to what to do. Hopefully the process we've already shown you is more or less the same one that you need to use for your G2500. Uh, earlier models do have a full button press system that uh, will allow you to reset without needing a key. So bear that in mind. Um, always check for your printer model. Okay, so you've read all the information. What you need to do is get it into service mode. Make sure the power is off, then press and hold the stop button. While it's still held down, press and hold the power button for a few seconds, then release the stop button. Keep power down and then press the stop button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now release the power button and the printer will go through, dump any paper it's got sitting in its out tray. And it'll go through just a general routine. And your power will get to that. Now, if this has worked, you should see that it is recognized as a slightly different device from just a bog standard printer and we can move on to the next stage. That sound indicates that the computer, your computer, or mine in this case, has detected the printer has now changed and is in service mode. But of course, WIC reset utility won't actually detect it itself until you refresh the list of detected printers. So if you click on that button there, as you can see, it's now in service mode. So you're now ready to clear the waste ink counters. You click on clear waste counters button, just there. 
Obviously you have this warning, make sure there's no other error, make sure the printer has recognized ink cartridges, well, it doesn't have any, and make sure you've got a good cable. Now you enter your key and click OK. Reset will complete. You just get this little congratulatory message. You clear that by clicking OK. And now you just go off and turn your printer off to finish the reset process and drop it out of service mode again. Once the printer's been redetected by your computer, as its normal self, as in not in service mode, you should now, all being well, be able to just continue using your printer as normal. And that's it. That is how you reset your G2000. Now, worth noting, you cannot use the trial key to um, complete the process, not even a partial one. It just doesn't work on cannons. And we'll just demonstrate that here. There you go, T-R-I-L, all in caps. Click on that and you get an error message to say it's not supported. Okay, I'm afraid you do need to buy a key. And there you go, that's how you reset the G2500 using the WIC Reset Utility. Um, and uh, we've shown you just now how to install a waste kit so that it's dealing with the waste ink as well. Worth noting that this particular walkthrough is good for one particular printer model. It should be applicable for other models of a similar generation. Earlier generations did have a button press that worked um, without needing a key. Uh, that changed with newer models such as the G2500. Um, what will happen in the future, nobody really knows. But uh, if you've got any questions, if you're seeing this video for the first time and you're wondering whether or not your printer will in fact work, best to contact us first before you make any purchase so we can help you to double check. Anyway, hope this has been useful. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Mm -hmm. Always be prepared to forget something. So, you... and yeah, I should have put two gloves on. Mm -hmm. yeah, lovely. Anyway.